It's a troll chimney. Look at it. That's a troll cave, and that's their chimney. Obviously. I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. Here's a little known fun fact. Iceland Air offers free stopovers en route to Europe. And let's be honest, free is my favorite word. So on my way to Greenland, I landed in Reykjavik and explored Iceland's top three off the radar hotspots. Ready to go. We're gonna go and uh, have a look at the south coast. All day trip. Cool. Make sure when you visit Iceland's waterfalls, do not forget your raincoat. In a country packed with beautiful waterfalls, Sayi Lensfoss is in a class all of its own. What's so insane about it? The falls can be seen from every angle, as in 360 degrees. But the best view? This one. This is like a cross between the never-ending story, the dark crystal, and labyrinth with David Bowie and Jennifer Connelly. The best group of three movies ever. I even did my happy dance to commemorate the occasion. Horses with frizzy hair? Ooh, yes, please. They say the best way to travel in Iceland is on horseback, and they are right. I need to go to this horse's hairdresser. The highlights are amazing. <laughs> highlights aside, Icelandic horses are known for being especially hardy. These ponies have been bred to handle extreme weather conditions, which means they're up for anything. We should all line up and do a Game of Thrones charge. <laughs> Don't come to Iceland looking for calm seas and pristine white beaches. We're on the south coast of Iceland on the black volcanic sands and there are all these cool caves and they have these things called rogue waves where it looks like it's fine and then boom, they grab you and snatch you and take you away forever. But what's freakier than rogue waves? Check out these huge basalt sea stacks that are the subject of an awesome local legend. A couple hundred years ago, there were two trolls. They saw a ship and it was about to be crashed on the shore. So they tried to push it back into the sea and they worked for hours and hours and lost track of time. And then the sun came up and as the first rays of sun hit them, they turned to stone. And apparently these hills are really popular with trolls, so, but nobody's helping any ships anymore after that. The best part of my day, obviously, is the bubbly. But like many things in Iceland, even a simple toast has a legend that goes along with it. If you bested your enemy in battle, you would chop his head off, hollow out the brains, and then you would drink your, your celebratory bean out of the skull of your enemy. So oh. that would say, skull! That's economical, right? I mean, what else are you going to do with a dead body? Skull. Sure. Skull. On the next episode of Abroad Abroad, I explore the hidden realm of the elves with the elf whisperer. They sing a whole lot. There's a lot of music in the elf world. Drunk. No. Really? Elves no. don't get drunk? Download the Yahoo app to your phone or tablet. 